some uh, exercise, right? Raise your arms up. And I want you to go uh, all the way up, huh? okay? I want you to breathe in, breathe out. Do not press your chest down. Don't do that, huh? The reason why you raise your arms is that you have a chance not to allow your chest cage to, to upset the airflow which is regulated by your diaphragm. Okay, like this. Only rock and roll and upper stars will, will press like that. <laughs> okay? Okay, then lower your arms, lower your arms to a good position and still maintaining the rib cage in that same position as you were, your hands were up, okay? Like that. Now then, you begin to sing using this uh, posture. Uh, the rib cage should not move until absolutely necessary. Okay? Uh, let the diver work first. Then you will call the, the rib cage to move. Move, move, I need more room. Okay? Now I'm going to work with you. So with your chest cage established in high, medium high position, and with your diver breathing in the breathing out process, right? The uh, rib cage follows co the command of the diaphragm. Uh, you begin to say, huh? but don't move your rib cage at all. In fact, I practiced with my arms up for a few years before I learned how to use it very effectively. Okay.
very well, you will learn how to place it in the uh, turbulent area, turbulent area, much easier. So at this point, some of you may not need to, to go up too high because you can't kind of place your voice into turbulent to ring in the high range. Number two, number two, this exercise is uh, from uh, F sharp to G sharp. Okay, so this covers most songs, most songs. Uh, F sharp, F sharp is actually too low already. Most songs will go to A flat, uh, A flat, G, then F sharp. So this is the exercise that covers that range. It's not too high, high C. It's not down to E. Okay. Uh, number uh, the second point I want to make uh, emphasize <coughs> is that when you when you warm every day, desirably every day. You need to uh, exercise first, run around the block or something to get your blood flowing, and then you assume that posture to, to, to sing. Okay. Uh, following that, one one additional point. Okay. Uh, when you warm up, uh, you need to uh, give support enough so that this tightening would not happen unless it's extremely high, because this tightening happens only. In about like around that range, most of you will begin to have to the vocal folds because of the length of it. It's not convenient to play to sing those high notes. Those high notes, uh, you have to naturally close the front, close the rear. So that closing of the vocal folds, uh, shorten the vibration length, uh, triggers the tension. Now, if it is down here. Why this would be had to be tightened down. The reason why you experience some tightness is because you don't have enough breath support. So when you when you when you warm up around that range, range higher mid range, okay, you experience some 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 tightness over here. Uh, you must know immediately that it is because of your lack of breath support because you don't need to tighten up for that. Lack of breath support would not set the vocal foot into vibration uh, fast enough to hit that bridge, the, the tone, the pitch. Okay, so that's why uh, you tighten up. Okay, so then what you do is give more support. That means that you haven't breathed enough. Many of you have very short breath because you're not used to take breath. You should take breath out all the way down to 90 percent full, 95 percent full, and sing it all the way down to 10 percent full, and still very, 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 very dynamic in your voice. Uh, that way, you will not have uh, fatigue, vocal fatigue. And then when you sing up high, you have enough breath to support high, high frequency. Okay, now the next exercise, exercise.
get tired. <laughs> Prayer support is lacking. Okay? And uh, if, of course, when it gets too high, that you have, it's natural to be tight. Tight up. So, what you do is give support. Okay? Support should not come from your chest cage. It should come from the diaphragm. Chest cage, press down, the diaphragm will adjust the uh, question you know, of your rib cage. Now, in addition to giving you an even flow of support, that's, that's not easy. Okay? Right, turn up.